The troopy never ever fails to give me a warm fuzzy. Never fails. And that's mine. Excuse me. It's ours. It's ours. Okay. It's <laughs> priorities. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> I have her trained so well, as you can see. It's taken years, years of work to get her trained, get her trained this, this efficiently. So, do you want to tell us what we what we're doing? Okay, hand over. I'm in Pretoria. This is the Land Cruise. The first time I've seen it. This is actually my third Land Cruise that I bought blind. And my fourth Troopy. The first one I purchased in 2011, co-designed the familiar lift-up roof conversion with Alu Cab in 2011 and 12. Then 2017 in Australia, a V8. Then in 22, again in Australia, another V8. And now here in Pretoria, February 2023, South Africa. And by far the highest mileage of any vehicle I have owned, a half a million kilometers. It's always a bit risky, but this one we did have checked and by somebody who's very experienced, so now I'm seeing it for the very first time. You've been in Dubai for too long, you came right round to the wrong side of the car. I did, I came to the wrong side of the car. <laughs> I did, I did. Um, I, I, it's going to be tatty, it's got half a million kilometers on it, but I'm, I, the tatty bits aren't the important bits because so much of it we're going to get right as we build it. So, um, right. This one. Okay, that's fine. Do something about the door handle there. I'm not sure what this was vehicle was vehicle was used for, but obviously we've got the entire thing anyway. It really works quite clean actually. I mean it's a lot of stone chips on the, on the but here the rust rust isn't a big problem here you see so it's stone chips that's easy to sort out I wonder how noisy that that roof rack's going to be it's a front runner rack that are notoriously noisy HZ. Clutch is a bit soft, a little bit tatty. We're going to have fun. We're now going to drive it down to Cape Town and begin the work. We are going to have some fun. It's too late now, I paid for it. <laughs> so. Yep. It's a fait accompli. As long as you're happy. Happy husband, happy life. I know it yes. doesn't rhyme, but it still applies. Yes, it does apply. These seats are good. These seats are very good. I think they must have been rebuilt. Oh, I'm missing those. Missing all the knobs from there. Okay, not serious. Missing the ashtray. I've got an ashtray. What are your impressions? Good. Very positive. Yeah. Very positive. Cheers, eh? Yeah. Very positive. yeah. It looks like it's in reasonable nick yeah. for a yeah. vehicle that's as old yeah. as this. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> bit too late, but you've got yeah, it. I know. <laughs> it is too late. Awesome. So we just replaced the, the spare wheel because we noticed this morning that it, the tube that's inside yes. got a tear mark and it wasn't paid previously. So oh, okay. you can't repair it again and again. Oh, okay. So that one's brand new. Um, I spoke to, to Paul about the rest of it. He said he's going to sort it out for you once you're down there. We're going to do a lot of work. We're going to. He told me it's and quite he, a big project. Yeah, it's a big project. Yeah, and it's the uh, second one I'm doing through Paul. Okay. Yeah, so right. he actually helps a lot of people with the troopies, with the rebels, and that's doing right. the overlanding and so on and so forth. Okay, you're right. Yeah. 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 Y
rolling. Yeah, I'm rolling. You are rolling. Okay. Right, you know, I have absolutely no idea where to go, and um, there's something big on the front. Hold on. Well, I suppose I should get some nerve going. You should, need, you should get some nerve going. Although, actually, in one, I might be able to nerve without it. Here's the N1, and there's my wallet. I've got some South African rands in the wallet. I'll put that there for you. Okay, camera's rolling here. Turn right. Well, we just got to keep it rolling because, help, we I got to get a feeling of it, whether it, you know, it's a bit, <clears throat> a bit loose, the doors are a bit loose, the doors are a bit rattly, and um, the shearing wheel is really shiny. Really shiny, but I've got a, I've got a solution to that. The, my steering wheel that uh, I took off my uh, V8 Rupee, I put in my luggage. It bolts straight on. It's exactly the same, and it's brand new. So, I so is that it. that's what you're doing tonight? Maybe. which I'm going to go and fit right now. I need to go in one. This is here. Do you want to tell me what's happening? Uh, yeah, we've got a problem already with the car. I can hear the fan belt slipping. Now, he mentioned that... Turn they, left onto Mary Nord Road. They had, then turn right. They had uh, loosened the fan belt because it was too tight, which made it sound odd to me that it was too tight. Uh, anyway, so um, it's too loose. So we and it whistles as I hit 3,000 RPM, it whistles. And I can smell, and it no, it's smells slipping. very hot. It's Turn right onto Lindbergh Road. It, it's slipping. So we're pulling over and we're going to send, uh, they're going to come with some tools because we've got no tools in this car. And they're going to come and give us a hand. I hope this isn't going to set the pattern for the rest of the trip. Okay, we're back in the car, slight glitch. Now, those of you who, I'll give you the camera. Those of you who remember the Range Rover thing, when I collected the Range Rover, I drove five kilometers and there was this terrible noise and I had no idea where the noise was coming from. It was coming from the fan. After spending three days working on her, I'm not three kilometers away when a noise has stopped me in my tracks. I'm not even five minutes. I got fuel and uh, I suddenly heard this very loud cracking sound and it was it was very difficult to detect horrible noise sorry you can't get rid of me but there's a horrible noise from because it was more noisy when the engine was revving and less noisy when it wasn't and it was when it wasn't the engine we went for a drive it's the fan let me put that into perspective 3555 kilometers door to door across australia if I was in South Africa, that would be driving from Cape Town to Windhoek onto Harare. I am feeling very confident because I have about half the distance that the Australia crossing demanded of the vehicle. And this is a better vehicle. It's in better mechanical shape than the Range Rover. But to be honest, breaking down scares me. This is not a particularly safe place to travel through. That was the only glitch. 
hopefully that this replace the belt with the belt was wrong. Uh, we placed the belt on the air conditioner pulley and hopefully that's the only glitch for this trip. You know, they said that on Apollo 13 and we all know how that went. Phew.